four, five, mic check. Just let me know if this sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, check, check. One, two, three, four, five, mic check. What's up, Little Hoodie Speeches? You girl live here check. outside Polk County Judicial mic Center. One, two, Waiting for you guys. Five, We're going to have a one, two, press three, conference four, outside this building in regards to Audrey Cunningham. The investigation continues. Where is she? That is the question. All right, friends. They should be coming out shortly. They're pretty punctual. Can you guys hear me? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Did you guys hear that lady when she was talking? Yeah. I need thumbs up. I need confirmation. Yes. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the confirmation. It got very uh. It got very competitive to find a spot to stand. Look at how much people. We have. So, I decided to do what he's doing right there. That, hey, that's how we do it. Doing all right? All right, good. How about you? Doing good. Good. All right. We make ways in the hood. So, there we go. Boom. All right. I see a lot of moving around in there, so I guess they're going to come out this way right now. Reporting live here in Polk, uh, out in front of Polk County Judicial Center. This is Grizzly Live here with the Hood News. Hopefully, we get some sort of update in regards to missing 11 year old girl Audrey Cunningham. Update is on the way. We're, we're waiting for them. We said 2.30, you guys. throwing a curveball on the technical side. All right, there we go. All right, we're good. We're good, you guys. No, an angle with me. It's an angle. Yours is an angle. friends I don't know. give give us some hearts for Audrey hearts for Audrey you guys Waiting for them to come out <clears throat> to give us updates on Audrey Cunningham.
We're just waiting, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. The nerves are real bad. I know it raised just tense. All right, the time is now two thirty four. We're here in front of the Polk County Judicial Center. I'm, uh, we're waiting for them to come out. One microphone is attached to that podium, so hold on. We're still waiting, you guys. Thank you for your patience.
Hey, can you just double check? Because we have a couple of those that's going to be so much fun. Can you double check the Here they come, you guys. Here they come out. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Let's go. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Lieutenant Craig Cummings, Texas Department of Public Safety. Um, today we're here to provide some updates on the search for 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham, who went missing on Thursday of last week. Um, I'm also joined by Polk County Sheriff Byron Lyons and Polk County District Attorney Shelley Sitton. Um, I want to say that investigators are following active leads based on tips that the, and, and evidence that we have gathered. The videos submitted to investigators by the community have been very helpful. We're looking for and asking the public's help for additional video on FM 3126 that shows the highway. This video would have been on Thursday, February 15th, between 6.30 a.m. and 8 a.m. So again, that's video from FM 3126 on Thursday, February 15th, between 6.30 a.m. and 8 a.m. that shows the highway. I also want to announce the Polk County Crime Stoppers reward has been increased to $10,000 for information leading to the arrest and prosecution of the person responsible for Audrey's disappearance. We are asking the public, based on the evidence that we have been getting right now, to stay away from Scenic Loop FM 3277 unless you have a need to be there. That is a potential point of interest in this investigation. We've had a lot of people driving down there. Um, please stay away. Let the investigators do what they are doing and our volunteers what they are doing so that we can bring Audrey home. We also want to say that we're thankful for the Polk County District Attorney's Office for their continued legal advice as they provide that to investigators in this continued search for Audrey. Um, the investigators have given McDougal, who was, who was arrested Friday on an unrelated charge, um, several opportunities to cooperate, and we remain hopeful that he will begin helping in this case. Now, we also want to address some rumors. Um, that have been circulating. McDougal is not required to register as a sex offender. Uh, we would refer you to the various counties that prosecuted McDougal for inquiries regarding his criminal history. Um, and we also want to say that McDougal resides in a camper behind the residence where Audrey lives with her father, grandparents, and other family. The family does have a relationship with McDougal. And with that, I want to turn it over to Polk County Sheriff Byron Lyons for some remarks for him before we open it up for questions. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Since Harvard was reported missing, uh, we have been working with investigators and volunteers uh, doing everything we can to bring Audrey home. Unfortunately, 